for all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. I want to ask you a question today. Are you the Christian that you desire to be? Have you read the Bible as much as you'd like to read God's Word? I know what you're thinking. I just don't have time. I'd love to have a great marriage, but I just don't have time. I'd love to take my kids fishing. I'd love to read more books. I'd love to have a nicer yard. I'd love to, but I just don't have time. I was reading a book a friend sent to me these last couple days, and I came across these statistics. Philip Zimbardo, in his book, The Demise of Guys, has concluded that the average guy spends 10,000 hours playing video games by the age of 21. 10,000 hours. The author here says, My mind jumps to the research around this rule. In 10,000 hours, you could master any craft or become expert in any field from Sumerian archaeology to Olympic water polo. You could get your bachelor's degree and your master's degree. You could memorize the New Testament, or you could beat level four of the call of duty. (laughs) Does that sound about right? He also said that the average American spends 705 hours every year on social media. He spends 2,737 hours watching television. The simple truth is we give our time to the things that are important to us. If we would just carve out the unnecessary aspects of our life, we would have the time to do the things that God has desired that we should do. So in 20 minutes of Candy Crush on our morning bus ride, we could pray for every single one of our friends and family members. In an hour of TV before bed, we could read through the entire Bible in six months. In a day running errands and shopping for things that we really don't need, we could practice Sabbath, an entire seventh day of rest, worship, and the celebration of our journey through the wonderful world that has been created for us by God. This book's entitled The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, but I want to get back to the writing of Moses, where Moses says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So let's stop with the silly excuses. We all have time, but we're choosing to spend our time on unnecessary things. May God teach us and may this pandemic teach us that we've always had more time than we've practiced. And may we put our priorities on the things that matter most to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I hope you exercise yourself in numbering your days for the glory of God. Have a wonderful day.